Western South Dakotans are recovering from repeat bouts of extremely severe weather. Storm reports include three-inch diameter hail and wind speeds above 90 miles per hour. The storm started Thursday. Greg Richards of the National Weather Service says hailstorms followed Interstate 90 around the Black Hills from Spearfish to Rapid City. With some of this bigger stuff, tennis ball to baseball size, that uh, not only causes a lot of damage, but that could be deadly if someone gets caught out of the map. Richards says damage reports include broken windows on vehicles and buildings. Vehicles were dented and roofs were damaged. The hail broke skylights at Sam's Club in Rapid City and made a wet mess in the store. And Richard says that was just round one. Saturday, a windstorm swept through the area. Just about everybody across western South Dakota experienced high winds. The highest wind speed was recorded near Belfouche at 94 miles per hour. Numerous other wind speeds above 70 and 80 miles per hour were reported throughout the region. Two short-lived tornadoes were spotted in rural areas. The Weather Service received reports of some people injured when their campers or vehicles blew over. Some semi-trucks were blown off the road. Richard says the front that produced the weather has shifted to the southeast where it could produce severe weather in eastern South Dakota. Then the next several days look quieter. For South Dakota Public Broadcasting, I'm Seth Tupper in Rapid City.